Uh, well, wrong movie. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, here's the update for this week in crypto and also in our favorite here, Tesla, which now went above the one, uh, 627, the 172.8% level. And um, this is where I start taking large amounts of size. This whole area here, I my confidence grows. So I know you would think, oh my gosh, you should be more worried, right? No. Uh, my confidence has grown in this area right here, the 172.8 to the 200% from everything that's occurred in here. And our primary target, if you remember from many times in the past, when you've got good geometry, it's going to be right down there. That's our minimum target. So basically we're gonna look for a move under 400, all the way back to under 380. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be a key target point. Uh, I started reshorting after we exited here and I started shorting again, but no real commitment and so forth. But as we moved across up to here, this is my area of real commitment. So I'm moving a large amount of money. I already started tagging it right here above 627. And um, this is going to be a big trade for me uh, for this year and into probably uh, early next year. Uh, on a percentage basis because uh, confidence is very high now um, with it going into this area. This is primary, this is what you wanna say. And um, I'm going for this down here and ultimately maybe even down here if they come out with bad news or whatever, too much competition, didn't not enough sales, blah, 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 whatever comes across on the news wires in the future. But when it gets that decline, um, uh, this looks to be good short money right here and uh, they're just ridiculously overpriced I don't have to tell you that um, we know that five times uh, this right here you know this would be uh, remember when they were like 200 now they would be comparatively to like 3,000 so <laughs> We don't even have to think about that. It's ridiculously overpriced. They're worth more than all the other car manufacturers put together, yet they have a smaller slice of the sales. Now, they do have a great future, and I believe in this company, but not at this price. This is just stupid is the only way to put it. Um, so I love this short, and I'm moving large sums of money towards it. I had plenty of cash on the, the sidelines, thankfully, from taking profits on silver and gold. I took half. And... Um, getting back to there uh, it looks like we can make a move back to the highs and maybe even higher on this and let's see if we break let's make that yellow if we break that trend line you know what I'm ultimately going to be looking for I'm looking for this mid 30 range and above and um, but that's longer term you know, there's plenty of room for oscillation. I would like to see it go down back to here, to this level down here before I'd start buying it again. Uh, and I'd probably buy back, but it's going to depend on how, what my exposure is on Tesla, the short, because I am, uh, and what I want to do with a, a lot of the free cash that I have now. Uh, hmm, other than that, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Again, very boring, nothing has changed. We're in the, the Bitfinex bubble. Uh, nothing to do until we get back to that 12,000 range. And, um, you know, it's just a matter of time before, I, in my opinion, they'll slam it. And, uh, you know, we'll uh, wait to see how far down they take it and go from there. And so we're just holding shorts and uh, waiting for the, the move back down. Um, other than that, uh, let's see. Let's see what we have here. Um, here we have SNXT. Um, this is one that would probably be wise to exit for now. But again, I have such a small amount, I don't care. Uh, it's a very small trade for me. Uh, and I, I want to go for the long-term numbers that go all the way above 
and uh, make it a big home run. And I could hold this for a few years. I, you know, again, it's it's a small position, kind of gambling. But if I had any real money on it, I would be exiting uh, most of it and keeping a small amount. Um, but I already have a small amount, so there's nothing to really do about that. You can see where we are. We're near. We're kind of finding resistance on this boundary right here. Um, but since I'm looking for pullback in Bitcoin, but again, we're in the holidays, so we've got another couple months maybe before we'll see any real, you know, uh, pejorative selling that would make sense. Um, so, you know, we're kind of in the, the, the just hold and, and wait, nothing to do. So it's a very easy time. Um, and we will wait for things to, to balance out in our favor. And other than that, uh, hmm, I kind of wanted to start looking at shorts over here as we approach this 93 area and above. Um, but on oil and, and I'm Chevron, I'm sorry, uh, because I have a, a, a belief percentage-wise that I can easily get a move back down to that the low 80 range easily on this. So this is kind of a good trade. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to go over and just kind of wait on it. But this is a, a solid trade. Let's go over and take a look on the inside here and see what we see. Yeah, this has got definite signs of a possible collapse coming and us moving back down to the low the mid uh, to low 80 range right where we exited the longs that I had this is kind of its balancing point down here think of it that way and if you can get a move anywhere to this this 93 which it's probably already done um, <laughs> it looks like a good short opportunity all the way back down to here on a percentage basis it would be a good return and hmm, I'll have to think about that one but anyway um, that's it for this week again waiting for Bitcoin to flop and fall back down I believe the Bitfinex money has just suckered everybody in and now they're gonna you know, play with them they are the hammers, the leads in price, and they can do what they want. They get the tether printing, and uh, you know the whole deal on that and what my thinking is, and uh, you've seen that uh, in the past, as you've seen. And um, when that money printer ends and they want to make the move they want to make, then it's, it's going to go the way, you know. Now, that doesn't mean anything longer term, as you know, Longer term, you know, the institutions will slowly accumulate in time. And when the real supply dries up, which will probably be towards the summer and um, winter of next year, uh, then you could have a real move. But right now we're just, we're in the Bitfinex bubble and uh, it has no basis of reality or anything of interest to me that uh, I want to over and even pay attention to so we'll wait for this to pull back you get your five retrace and we'll go from there that's all we're looking for other than that what else uh, interesting out there eh, not much um, the two plays that I've got I'm waiting for I'm still waiting they're not really set up uh, they're kind of flat lines, so I will keep uh, waiting and watching, and I will uh, update you guys next week. Other than that, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.